guys, so in our last video, we talked about multi-digit multiplication. Today, we're going to talk about multi-digit division. So one thing to note is that multiplication and division are actually related. They are inverse operations. And what that means is if I want to get the answer, if I want to check my answer to a division problem, I can multiply. And if I want to check my answer when I multiply, I can do division. I'm going to show you how multiplication and division are related. Our last answer we had when we multiplied, we got 8,395. And one of our factors was 23. So I am going to show you that if I divide these, I will get my second factor, which should be 365. So this is long division. For fifth grade, you actually have to divide a two digit divisor by a four digit dividend. So what I like to do is write my steps on the side. D stands for divide, M stands for multiply, S is subtract, B is bring down, and R is repeat. So I like to use the acronym, does McDonald's sell burgers really? So you're going to divide first, then multiply, subtract, bring down the next digit, and then repeat the process all over again. So the first step is you want to take your large number, which is called your dividend, it's how many total things you have, and then 23 is your divisor, and you're going to put that on the outside. So this is a little bit more difficult than fourth grade because in fourth grade, this was a one digit divisor. Now that it's two, and we typically don't know our multiplication facts at the top of our head after 12. So here we're going to use multiplication to help us with our division. So we're going to write down our multiplication facts for 23 because it's going to help us, number one, organize our work and all of our facts are already going to be there so we don't have to try to figure them out at once. So here I'm going to write down the multiplication facts for 23, which is also skip counting. So 23 times 1 is 23. 23 times 2, all you're doing is basically repeated addition. So 23 plus 23 is 46. 23 times 3 is going to be 69. 23 times 4, you're going to add 23 to the 69. 9 plus 3 is 12 plus another um, 3 is going to be 92. 23 times 5 is going to be the 3 plus the 2 is the 5 plus the 2 is 115. 23 times 6 is going to be 138. 23 times 7 is going to be, regroup, 161. I'm going to stop there for now. So the first thing I want to do is divide. So I need to see how many times can 23 go into 8. Well, if I have 8 Skittles, I cannot put it into 23 groups. So you cannot divide a larger number by a smaller number. So I'm going to scoot over and I actually need to divide 23. So I'm going to look on the side and see how many groups of 23 can I pull out of 83 without going over. And here it looks like I can use my 3 multiplication fact, which is 23 times 3 is 69. So I'm going to take the middle number 3 and that is going to be my quotient because 3 groups of 23 I can pull out of the 83. So now that I did my division, I am going to now multiply. 3 times 23, my answer is already here, so I don't have to calculate that, which is 69. Now, after I multiply, I subtract. So, usually, when you have a number at the top, you have to go next door and get 10 more, because if I have 3, I cannot take away 9. So, I see a lot of students regrouping, or if you don't want to regroup, you can count from 69 up to 83. 
So I think working with tens is easy. So from 69 up, 10 is 79. So from 79 up to 83 is only four. So I know that this is going to be 14. Now I bring down my next digit, which is a nine. And now I am going to repeat the process again. So now how many groups of 23 go into or come out of 149? So I'm going to look at my facts and it looks like it's going to be six. So my six goes here times 23 is 138. This problem here, you do not have to regroup because nine is larger than eight and it's at the top. So nine minus eight is one. Four minus three is one, and that is zero. And lastly, I bring down my five. So now we are going to start the process all over again. Last one, 23 goes into 115. Look on the side, it looks like five, and it goes in evenly. So the object is to get this to zero or as close to zero because it has to be smaller than 23. So if you have a remainder, it must be smaller. So don't stop here, you have to continue. So five times 23 is 115. And when I subtract, I get zero. So from the last problem, you saw that when I multiplied 365 times 23, I did get 8,395. So multiplication and division go hand in hand. They are inverse operations.